is one from the royal family that it started out as a innocent update uh, coming uh, from Kate Middleton and then boy the internet got a hold of it and people were doing their own research and wow now we have a controversy this is uh, the photo in question thank you uh, for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two months wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day it was Mother's Day there in the UK yesterday and uh, it was that photo that really really uh, started uh, the weekend uh, craze uh, with the royal family and it, these internet sleuths continuing to try to say well wait a minute this might not be a recent photo so let's bring in a special guest here on live now from fox not only a friend of live now but a former live now from fox host as well kinsey schofield now a royal expert and uh, great podcast host as well thanks so much for joining us Thank you. You're absolutely right. I've never seen anything like this chaos surrounding this, what was supposed to be an innocent, sweet photo. And what I believe was supposed to be the big, you know, reveal that everything was okay with the Princess of Wales. You would expect much more thought and strategy to go into something like this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, how did this sort of well, it didn't sort of, it snowballed. How did this, from when it was uh, published to how fast did the people on the internet start saying, uh, I don't know? Well, I mean, I think it was instant because there's been so much controversy around the Princess of Wales's um, break and recuperation. Uh, we know that she had abdominal surgery. They say it was planned abdominal surgery in January. And when they announced that surgery, they told us that we should not expect to see the Princess of Wales until Easter. And while I, a lot of people pushed back on that and said that's an awfully long recovery, but there were several royal commentators like myself that said just leave her be. You know, she deserves this peace and quiet and she deserves this time to recuperate from whatever it is she was recuperating from. And then on top of that, we had King Charles announce that he was going in for, you know, a general um, procedure. He wasn't concerned about it. Days later, we found out he had cancer. We still don't know what type of cancer he has. So it's been absolute chaos chaos when it comes to covering the royal family recently. With Catherine being unavailable to anyone, unseen, um, dis except for the TMZ photo, which the UK will not share uh, because they feel like it's a violation of her privacy. We haven't seen the Princess of Wales, so all sorts of conspiracy theories started popping up, memes, uh, and it really flooded the internet. So once this picture was posted, instantly people started saying AI old photo cut up and and you know put together and then they started zooming in on certain things that honestly were huge mistakes like princess charlotte's her sleeve is missing in the photo it looks like her skirt was cut and pasted you know on top and her hair it looks like she's just cut and pasted on top of her mom um and uh, so there was immediate just kind of sleuth commentary um, but the the consequences was this kill order from, I believe it's now five major agencies. Uh, the AP saying at closer inspection, it appears that the source has been, the source has manipulated the image. That source, uh, if you look at the photo credit right there is the Prince of Wales, Prince William or Kensington Palace. And so what a kill order is, is they've pulled these images so they're no longer endorsing them as official photos and they're asking the outlets that utilize their services not to use this photo either because they don't believe that it is authentic um and that i think it's an authentic photo i just think it has been manipulated there's been some copy and paste and, and as we know now the princess of wales has apologized and said i'm an amateur photographer and i made a mistake yeah i, I want to show our viewers the the uh statement in question that you're you're uh, showcasing right now and she put this out earlier today saying like many amateur photo photographers I do occasionally experiment with editing I want to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day now my question to you Kinsey uh, why let this continue to snowball why don't they just put out a photo today why not put out a photo and almost maybe uh, have her hold up a newspaper. Well, I think they tried to do something similar because we did see the Princess of Wales today leaving Windsor Castle with her husband, Prince William, just 
hours after she apologized for that photo. She did not participate in the Commonwealth event that uh, the Prince of Wales participated in, but she was seen in, in the car with him um, on the way to Westminster Abbey. So she, we got a peek of her. And I do believe that that was 100% intentional to do exactly what you're saying, you know, kind of nip this in the bud and say, all right, we may, th this is way bigger than we ever anticipated. Here she is. And Kinsey, does the royal family have a history of maybe, uh, you know, putting their own taste on photos or uh, doing some special editing? Ha have we seen that in the past? I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll say it, 100% Meghan Markle has done so. So, I think, you know, I, I think obviously you have that Hollywood element when you get the, the Duchess of Sussex. The Duchess of Sussex certainly has. And my biggest argument is um, Kim Kardashian will crop children out and replace entire children. Uh, I, I think this story is not about a Photoshopped photo because everybody Photoshops. I think this story is about these photo agencies saying that we are not going to run this, we're going to refuse to run this. I think that is where the, the snowball really happened. The, the, the this is out of control really happened when you've got the Associated Press accusing you of manipulating an image. And I think that the apology was sweet. I don't put the blame on the Princess of Wales. I actually put the blame on the palace. Where are her handlers? Where is her social media team? Um, and I think that they should be held accountable uh, because, you know, you know, the Princess of Wales is a little bit older than I am. I post things by, in error all the time. So I would, you know, she's, she pays people to have people that are smarter than her around. Like the, the taxpayers pay people to have people that are smarter than her around handling this type of thing. And I don't, I think she was probably, it's hard to wrangle three kids. I think she wanted everybody to have the cutest face, the cutest expression. She did some cutting and, and dropping and copying and pasting, um, which other photographers have done in the past too. There were just clear errors. And I wish that uh, while I don't think she had to take credit for it, I wish that an apology or an explanation would have happened yesterday, so this wasn't such a nightmare today. Yeah, so, so true. And la lastly, Kenzie, how do you think uh, like top brands and maybe top social media companies will view something like this and, and just kind of see the rollout of something that just went really, really bad from the uh, get-go? And how do you think they'll look at this and maybe uh, develop their own ideas of maybe crisis management or, or, or whatever? Well, just, I mean, and instinctually, when I hear your question, my immediate thought is I would take advantage of this and make a joke out of it. I would post terribly Photoshopped pictures right now. I, you know, I would, I would in the exact same poses as Catherine and her kids, because I think that at the end of the day, this is so funny. Um, it's not because I, there are a lot of people that are resentful of the lack of transparency when it comes to the Princess of Wales's health right now. And I don't necessarily think that that's fair. I think she needs time to heal and we should give her peace. But this is funny. This is, and it's like stars, just like us, royals, just like us, you know? And um, I think that, I think that this crisis management wise, you should act faster. I'm surprised the photo is still up. Would I post an original? I probably would to be like, oh, so sorry. Here's the, you know, Sh Princess Charlotte was making a silly face in this one and we wanted it to be nice and proper. You know, I, I might do something like that, but I really just feel so sympathetic towards her right now because she's got so much pressure on her. And, you know, when you're sick, you don't want a lot of attention. And uh, do you remember, I mean, just 24 hours ago, the big story was why wasn't she wearing her wedding ring? So it's everything, it's constant with her. And I feel all the sympathy for her right now. Yeah, I mean, to have so many cameras on you, especially anytime that you even leave uh, and everyone is just looking for any little thing maybe out of the ordinary and then magnifies it, you know, 500 times, it has to be exhausting just on that level alone. Uh, yeah, and um, I mean, with the wedding ring, my biggest argument there was um, Princess Diana had the same ring. And it's that beautiful, big sa blue sapphire that everybody adores. And um, 
Diana also is famous for her black sheep sweater, but what a lot of people don't know is that she had two black sheep sweaters. And the first one, she tore such a huge hole in it with that giant her another um, another sweater. So when everybody talks about this iconic black sheep sweater that Diana wore, well, it's one of two because she destroyed the first one with that ring. If you're recovering from a major abdominal surgery, do you want this menace on your finger? Or do you want to be tearing through clothes, you know, knocking it around the house? Absolutely not. So I think that we're so critical of them without thinking common sense. Sometimes it's just so easy to be harsh and judgmental. That is really, really well said. And, and uh, Kinsey, thanks so much for coming on here on Live Now from Fox. Always a friend here of the program and giving us a wealth of knowledge on uh, this subject. And uh, this is not going to be the last, right? It's just going to continue well, to uh, uh, see what happens next, right? Stay tuned. Absolutely. Yeah. And Mike, congratulations on all your success. Thanks so much for saying hi to me today. Yeah, no problem. T take care, Kinsey, as always. Okay.